We come across people with all sorts of behaviors and nature all the time. Some are sensitive, some aggressive, and some rank somewhere in between. There is a category of people who are able to draw other people towards them and can even read a room effectively. These people are kind and observant. We call them empaths. But what is an empath? And what traits do these people have? Find out today in this video. Let's get started. Empaths are highly observant. Being an empath is a lot like being a detective. You have to observe your surroundings and not just take them at face value, but also look deeper. Empaths are highly observant people who can pick up on subtle clues in the way other people act, speak, and react. They're also very good at reading body language, so they know what to expect from the person they're talking to before the person even says anything. Empathic people can sense when something is wrong with someone, whether it's their mood or if something is going on in their life that needs to be addressed. This is because empaths look closely into how people in their surroundings behave in certain situations. They are not self-immersed all the time. In fact, they sometimes overlook themselves because they are so invested in observing and appreciating what's around them. They look at the tiniest details of behaviors, and that's why they know what to expect from people. You will find them rightly guessing things about others. Other people are looking out at the world through a narrow lens, but not empaths. They have a broader vision that takes in all the information they can before creating any perspective. Empaths take their due time before passing judgments because they observe everything from all angles before developing an opinion. They make use of all their senses to do so. That's why they are so valuable to have as friends. Empaths love experiences more than materialistic things. Empaths tend to be more interested in experiences than materialistic things because they're so connected to other people. They want to feel what other people feel, and that means being able to share experiences with them. They don't necessarily need fancy things to enjoy life, although they may be drawn toward high-quality experiences that can be shared with others. They're the ones who always talk about how much they love their friends and family, or how much they love traveling. And they're the ones who don't care so much about the car you drive or what you wear. They care about whether or not you have fun when you're out with them. They will keep making plans for outings and adventures with their loved ones or even alone. They won't go into a frenzy to buy the latest gadget. Instead, they will spend their money on experiences like traveling, learning a new skill, and having nature adventures. Have you ever heard of the Zen lifestyle? It's a lifestyle that involves clarity. Clarity of mind and looking beyond our materialistic thinking and learning to value our individual selves. Empaths lead such a life. They are least interested in what other people are crazy about. They focus on building mental strength by involving themselves in activities close to nature. They spend their free time out in nature, hiking on mountainous trails or enjoying the greenery perhaps participating in sports. It's what feeds their soul. They know how temporary materialistic things are, and it's only experiences that can stay with one forever. Empaths need alone time. Empathetic people thrive in solitude. You won't find them uneasy when they don't have anyone to talk to. In fact, they need alone time to replenish their social energy. They're not antisocial. They just need a lot of space to process what they're sensing from other people and the world around them. When empaths feel overwhelmed by the information they're taking in, they need to retreat so they can be alone with their thoughts and feelings. That is why many empaths are introverts. But don't be confused by their longing to know people because this may seem like an extroverted trait. It's only because they need to know everyone in their circle inside and out. Empaths have a deep-rooted connection with the people they know, which even causes them to take on their emotions and feelings. And we know it's hard to experience one's own feelings, let alone experience others' feelings on top of that. When empaths are in the company of someone, they tend to attract their energy, which becomes overwhelming. 
Not many people are able to look at matters by stepping into other shoes, but empaths do that well. It is because of their emotional availability. After all, we all are humans and can only take so much energy. So empaths resort to alone time to process all that information and look at it with a calmer mind. You may find them sitting by themselves after socializing in a gathering. They are actually recharging themselves to give back all the emotional support they can. They have a profound love for nature. Empaths tend to be introverts who prefer spending time alone with nature or close friends rather than in large groups. Empaths appreciate the beauty all around us, whether it be a flower blooming or a bird chirping or the way the light hits the water on a calm day. They stop and feel every aspect of nature around us. They're also often profoundly affected by the suffering of others, even when they can't personally relate to it. That suffering can even be related to the environment and animal welfare. Nature is the one place where empaths can let go of everything else and just be. They love the stillness and healing power of it. The calmness of nature helps them find peace and quiet. But why do they like nature so much? It's because nature is a grounding experience. It helps them feel more connected to themselves, which is something they need when they're dealing with so much outward stimulation. Nature reminds empaths that there's more than just the human experience. There's a whole world out there that we don't even know about yet. That's something that can be exceptionally comforting for them because it helps remind them that everyone has their own unique experiences and perspectives. Nature also provides empaths with an opportunity to see things from other perspectives. Animals have their own needs, environments have their own ecosystems, and plants have their own life cycles. All of these things can help empaths better understand how interconnected we all truly are in this world. Empaths detest crowds. Crowds and noisy places are not the vibes for empaths. When empaths are in a crowd, they feel like they're drowning in everyone else's emotions. You won't find them in noisy, loud concerts or parties if they can help it. They will be the ones leaving first to get away from it all because too much energy becomes overwhelming for them. Empaths are highly sensitive people who can feel the emotions of others, even if they don't want to. Crowds and noisy places make it difficult for them to avoid picking up on those feelings. It's like being bombarded by other people's emotions all at once, and they don't know how to shut it off or cope with it. Think about how it feels at a loud concert or party. You can't hear yourself think. You're just one big blob of noise and feelings. That's what empaths feel like when they're surrounded by people. It's not even just the loudness of their voices. It's the pitch and tone of their emotions that make it difficult for empaths to focus on anything else. People see it as a flaw, but is it really? It may be a gift. It can be beneficial to take yourself out of loud environments and experience silence. That constant input of energy in a crowded situation can cloud your ability to focus on one thing. Empaths don't want that to happen. They are so sensitive to others' energies that it exhausts them. Empaths absorb other people's energies and emotions. The reason empaths absorb other people's energies so much is that they have a high level of empathy, which allows them to relate to others' feelings and experience those feelings as if they were their own. An empath wants to help other people feel better, so they try to do things that will make them feel better too by absorbing their pain and suffering into themselves. This can cause an empath to go through periods where they take on too much responsibility for other people's emotions and then become drained from trying so hard to keep everyone else happy. They're just really good at picking up on the vibes of others. Empaths have a hard time separating themselves from other people, so it's easy for them to take on those vibes. They feel they have a responsibility to make things fall into place. That's why they often take on much more than they can manage. People confide their thoughts and problems in them because they are so easy to talk to. 
people sense a connection to them, and so the empaths go through a lot in their own minds. It's all because they're so observant and kind. Their kindness makes them connect with people and gives them warmth and compassion. They're able to read other people's thoughts and feelings without even trying. This means that sometimes, empaths get overwhelmed by all of this extra information coming at them from all angles. Empaths struggle to create boundaries. Boundaries are essential for everyone, empaths included, but for them in particular. Boundaries are how we protect ourselves from feeling overwhelmed by the emotions of others. Empaths are often criticized for being too sensitive. But what people don't understand is that empaths have an innate ability to feel other people's emotions. And when you can feel the emotions of everyone around you all the time, it's hard to know who is feeling what and where the line between your emotions and someone else's begins. Because empaths experience everything around them so intensely, they may find it difficult to create boundaries between themselves and others. They may find themselves taking on other people's feelings as their own and reacting with the same intensity as if the feelings were their own. This can be especially overwhelming if there are multiple people around them who are experiencing strong emotions at once, or if those people are experiencing intense negative emotions, such as anger or sadness. Empaths also tend to have difficulty setting boundaries because they are often very giving people who put others' needs ahead of their own. When empaths do this without creating boundaries for themselves, they will end up feeling drained from giving too much without receiving anything in return. They are highly intuitive. Intuition is the ability to perceive things beyond average human perception. It can't be explained with logic or reason, but it can be felt deep in your gut. It's the ability to understand something instinctively. It's one of the ways that empaths experience the world around them. Empaths are intuitive because they have the ability to sense others' emotions, which means that they can make decisions based on how other people feel. They can also use this ability to help them make decisions about what to say or do in a particular situation. This ability is important not only for empaths' personal lives, but also for their professional ones. As an empath, you'll be able to understand your customers' needs better than anyone else in your field. You'll be able to connect with them on a deeper level than anyone else can which will enable you to provide them with exactly what they want. Empaths are often very creative and passionate about helping others in need. They're always looking for ways to express their creativity by helping others or finding new methods of doing things that no one else has thought of before. Their friends often ask them for advice in decision-making, all because of their strong, intuitive nature. So there you have it. These are the traits of an empath. Let us know what you think in the comments section. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, please consider subscribing to our channel. Finally, remember to turn on the notification bell so you can get all of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.